What's up everybody, Monday morning, 8 a.m., first week of the vlog, and I already got our day started pretty early this morning, so we'll go over kind of throughout the, our typical work week, um, kind of different things we're involved in. We're gonna get the team really involved in this process as well too, so it's not just gonna be me, you're gonna be meeting a lot of the people that we work with, and not necessarily just the people that work for us, but the communities that we're involved with as well. We're actually heading down to Huron County. Today we do a lot of work up on Lake Huron, and the Business Development Corporation is sitting down with a lot of the real estate agents and the people in the community to do some outreach, see what we think is happening, see how they can spur business growth. So it's in Clinton, I'm heading down there. The team is getting cracking in London this morning and then we're actually gonna go do some stuff in St. Thomas later on today, so stay tuned. Should be an exciting day, but I did just wanna do a little bit of preamble the week ahead of time. Um, maybe next week I'll actually show you guys what my miracle morning or morning process looks like getting ready for the week ahead, but anyways, here we go. Snap, we are now at the actual listing that we were talking about earlier today, 2185 Deborah Drive. How did we get here? How did we decide that we're gonna list this property? You know, when did the sellers decide that they're gonna call us to list this property? It's a funny thing in real estate, right? When you're working with clients, especially repeat clients, it's a lifelong relationship. So a lot of times they're calling you for different things at different times, and you're always there to purvey and transfer the information, but you never know what the time is actually gonna look like for the family or the people that you're selling the house for. In this situation, again, we were there when they were buying the house, we did the deal for them, beautiful house. We actually looked for a lot specifically like this. Actually, let me take this here for a second, and show you the backside, and spin you around. As you can tell behind me, the house is actually beautiful but we are south facing. That was actually very important to the people that were buying this house. So we didn't just want to pick any lot. So we picked this lot and then built this beautiful home on it. Just flip you around for a second, showcasing this property. We actually have the video team out here doing their thing. They What's going on guys? Nathan Smith here with Prime Real Estate Brokerage. We are here in Lambeth at a beautiful 2300 square foot home, finished top to bottom. You can actually hear Justin in the background here. I'll do some uh, some panning by him and see if we can catch him. Look at this. This house is beautiful in every way. And one little thing I'll point out before I Facebook puts a filter on my face. No, I don't want to do that. Mm -hmm. Go back here. Nope, yeah, apparently it's going to do that. What you know with these mics is that they read it 100% until they're dead. That's amazing. What's up vlog, day two, we are actually going back to Henry's, the place where we got the camera and the setup that we're gonna be doing the vlogging with, just to get some additional filters and things that we need to do what we're gonna do. So we're gonna take you with us today, we got some fun stuff to do and introduce you to the guy that sold us the rig, pretty knowledgeable dude that had quite a bit of insight into what we were doing and what would be best as a setup. So here it is, Masonville, this guy's definitely not gonna stop because he's doing his thing, Henry's, there you go. So despite the crazy windstorm outside and that guy almost running us over on our way in, I got in to see my man Eric here. So I came in the other day to see Eric and was looking for an adapter for our Gorillapod and then our DJI Osmo. So that one that we do our live streams on that you see. What do you think 
is the most common question you get from consumers when it comes to digital cameras, what to buy, or something that you think that they should know that maybe they don't know? Yeah, I think, you know, a big thing is people often get really, you know, they concentrate a lot on like, what's the best camera for my needs? Yeah. The reality is right now, they're all awesome cameras. So, mm -hmm. you know, it's better to concentrate on the accessories that are gonna help you fill that than the one camera that's gonna fit those needs. Okay. So, I'd say a lot of people really focus too much on this versus this. They're all very good right now. So yeah. find a camera that's comfortable in your hands that you like the operation of first and foremost. Accessories are key. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're looking to do, make sure you get those accessories ready to fill that. Don't worry about the camera or those accessories. Like a good mic, okay. like a good tripod, like, yeah. good, like good audio. Uh, in the research phase, a lot of people start off with cam, which is great, uh, but don't forget when you're building a budget for, for a first time kit, you're gonna double that budget with accessories alone. Right? Yeah. So, so keep that in mind. Henry's, this one's at Masonville. Come see my man, Eric. The entire staff's good. I've dealt with pretty much everybody here since I've been coming in. So that's it. Heading back to the office now. Peace. So funny story, actually you're seeing us cross over through the highway and coming over to Detroit. Why are we coming to Detroit from Canada? Wouldn't we go to Toronto and fly out from there? Doesn't make a whole lot of sense to drive. It's even further to go down to Toronto. And to be honest with you, if you're flying into the United States, it's way easier to drive over the border and then fly from Detroit to your location. So a little travel tip for you guys that may not be flying as much, usually cheaper. And the services are amazing here too. So this is actually the first time we've flown from this terminal and it is massive. I've been walking for probably 20 minutes and I'm still probably 15 gates from my date. Just crazy. Important to note when you're doing travel plans and actually going from place to place to really block enough time. I drove over from Canada so I knew the border was going to be busy and there could be traffic. And then I got here and didn't factor in another 20 minute walk to the actual gate. So you want to keep that stuff in mind especially when you're traveling. What's up vlog? Sunday morning. There's a lesson for you. Always make sure your mic's on when you're recording. I just ran through the entire travel last night and this morning and it didn't record, but that's okay. I'm going to do it again and just learning curves of going through the vlog, but want to be real with you guys and show you guys all sides of it. If you ever need tips with this type of stuff, let me know. Got access to some good people who really helped us get along. That said, Austin, Texas, it is Sunday morning. I'm gonna go adventure throughout the city, um, grab a bird scooter, I heard they have them here. Got the GoPro gimbal, show you a little bit of Austin, Texas. Flight last night was interesting. I actually was seated across from my man, Tim Kennedy, who's actually an ex mixed martial artist fighter, um, one of the baddest men on the planet probably, and he's actually special forces. He re-enlisted in the military in 2017 um, with Spec Ops, he was actually at Fort Bragg out of Michigan, doing some training in a grappling competition. Super, super nice guy, very humble. I always say when you meet celebrities and people that you like, don't really bug them, right? It's traveling, it's nighttime, I didn't want to say anything, so I went through the whole flight, and then on my way out, I just said to him, I said, hey Tim, felt a lot safer the fact that you were on the plane, and we just got to chatting, family man, super nice guy, very humble, so very, very thankful that I had the opportunity to meet him, but I digress, let's go visit Austin.
I gotta go back to the hotel. I'm gonna try to be back in the hotel. And, and then leave the hotel like 10 15. It's only 15 minutes to the airport. But I'd rather get there like 10 30. 